So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to give you this problem, which I'll show you what to do, and then what I'll do is I'll just have you guys work on one on your own to go ahead and give yourself a little practice, all right? So for the first thing I want you guys to understand is when you're dividing polynomials, what we notice here is we have a trinomial divided by a monomial. Now when you have a trinomial divided by a monomial, what we can simply do, and this is actually pretty basic, is we can actually split this up. And let me just go through an example here real quick. Let me go and see if this is correct. If I was going to say um, one third plus four thirds. When we add fractions to one third plus four third, we keep the denominator the same, we just add the numerator, right? So we're left with 1 plus 4 over 3, which ends up giving us 5 over 3. Correct? So what I'm trying to tell you guys is right now we have a problem that's written in this format. What I want to show you is let's write the problem in this format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this apart into every single one of these terms being divided by my divisor. So therefore, I can write this as 4xy squared divided by xy minus 2xy divided by xy plus 2xy divided by xy. And the reason why I think it's helpful to do this, at least when you're getting started to start off, is it just helps you organize and to remember that you have to divide xy by every single term. Once you get a little practice with this, you, know, you don't always have to rewrite it back out. But now let's go and look at it. 4xy squared, and this is kind of like, you know, when we factored out with G GCF, it's kind of like the same thing. Yes? Yeah, did I write the problem wrong? Oh, it's x squared. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that wouldn't really make sense to go and add that in there with it. So, yeah, now they're not like terms, Dustin, so you can't combine them. So you have 4x, 4xy squared divided by x, xy squared. So now when you go and divide this, you're going to be left with 4y. Negative 2xy divided by xy is just going to leave you with a negative 2. And then we have plus 2x squared y divided by x squared is going to leave you with a 2x. Now you can see that these are not like terms. I changed the problem. I did write up. It's 2x squared. So then you guys can see that here's your problem. Here's your remain, remain answer, OK? Cool? Any questions? That's all you got to do. So how about we give you guys a problem, see how you do?